When securing coils to a flatbed trailer, the driver should always refer to the flatbed securement guide provided by Prime. That will help you determine the minimum number and the type of tie-downs needed. Additional tie-downs can be added to this number. However, the driver should never lower the number of tie-downs used. Coils include all articles that are packaged as a roll, coil, spool, wind, or wrap. They also include plastic or rubber-coated electrical wire and communications cable. When securing coils, the driver must use timbers, chocks, cradles, etc. to prevent coil from rolling off the trailer. They must be supported up off the deck of the trailer floor. Timbers must be held in place by coil racks. The use of nail blocking or cleats as the sole means to secure timbers or cradles is prohibited. When securing coils, before you start, inspect the straps and chains for damage. There should be no damage on the straps, chains, 4x4 timbers, and coil racks. The driver should check their Qualcomm message to ensure that the right tie-downs are being used when securing the coils. Once the correct tie-down is selected, you can then set up the trailer for coils. Always make sure that the load is centered and is sitting as low as possible on the trailer. It's a good idea to watch the product being loaded in a safe location outside and away from the truck and trailer. Lay out the number of coil racks needed on the trailer. The number of coil racks should be determined using the securement guide. Then place that amount on the trailer floor. You can place two 4x4 beveled timbers across the coil racks and push them to both sides of the coil racks. Once the coil racks are in place, you will then place rubber coil rack pads across the beveled timbers. The purpose of the rubber pads is to ensure that the coil does not sit directly on the trailer floor and to ensure the coil does not rest directly on the 4x4 beveled timbers. Sitting the coil directly on the 4x4 timbers can cause damage to the coil by creasing the bottom of the coil where it and the 4x4 timber meet. Coils can then be placed on the top of the coil rack pads. Once the coils are placed on the trailer, begin securing the coil with the appropriate number of tie-downs. As a reminder, the number of tie-downs needed can be determined from the securement guide provided by Prime. Let's talk about securing eyes to the sky coils. Securing eyes to the sky, which are stand-up coils, requires the coils to be placed on the trailer with the eye of the coil facing upwards to the sky. And they're usually on pallets. Once the coils are placed on the trailer, the driver will place a minimum of three tie-downs on every coil placed on the trailer. The tie down should be placed on the top of the coil crisscrossed, and a third tie down should be placed on the top and through the center of every coil.
The tie downs can then be secured to the winch. The driver should then use a metal edge protector and a rubber pad where the tie downs touch the top of the coil on both sides. or securing chains using snap binder and ratchet binders to the rub rail if chains are used. When chains are used, the driver should place a rubber pad or a piece of cardboard in the center of the chains to prevent them from rubbing. That will protect the tie downs as well as protect the coil from damage. A chain should never touch another chain.